In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make any property react to audio in After Effects. So let's get to it. Here you can see I have a composition with some music on a timeline. Once you add your music or any audio layer, right click on it, go into Keyframe Assistant, convert audio to keyframes. That will create a new layer called Audio Amplitude. So let's expand its properties, go into Effects. Here you'll find left, right and both channels. You could select left and right channels and press delete to delete them and leave just the both channels. If we expand this drop down, you will see that the slider inside of both channels has keyframes with different values and we can use the set of the keyframes to make any property react to the audio. Now, let me bring the logo to the timeline, then press S on the keyboard to bring its scale. Now I'm going to hold the Alt key on the keyboard and left click on the stopwatch for the scale. That will enable us to add expressions here. So we want to find the spiral pick whip, click drag on top of the slider, then release it, and that will fill up the code for us. So if we click away, you will see that the logo will be reacting to the audio, but you'll notice that the logo has shrunk to this tiny size. That is because the default scale of 100 is no longer being accounted for, and it is solely driven by this expression. So we can add that scale into this expression. So let's click here, go into the end of the expression, type plus, left square bracket, 100 comma 100, right square bracket and click away and you'll see the logo is back to its original size and the reaction of the audio is added on top of it. And this approach is required for settings that have multiple properties. In this case, scale has X and Y scale. And for the settings that have like one single property, it is a lot easier. So let me remove this expression and open effects and presets search for transform and add it to the logo layer. And in the effect controls, you will find scale, but this one has one single property scale. So I'm going to hold the alt, left click on the stopwatch for scale. And then before I drag the pick whip, I'm going to type value plus, and then I'm going to drag this pick whip to the slider again. Here, let go. And that fills up the code. So if we click away, you will see that the logo is reacting in the same way. And it, stay, it has stayed the, the same in terms of scale since we added the value plus. And this value stands for any value that you set in the scale at any given moment. And the reaction of the audio is being added on top. And also, if you wanted to increase or decrease the extent of the reaction, you could uh, add, uh, say, times 2 or divided by 2 at the end of the expression or like any other value. Then click away and you that would uh, increase the reaction, say, times 2. That would make it like times 2 pretty much. Or you can put any value here to exaggerate the effect if you want to. So four would be too much. And also one important thing I'd like to cover here is creating a specific uh, reaction threshold. And we can do that in the slider itself. So let's hold the Alt and click on the slider stopwatch. And then here we're going to type linear, open parentheses, value, comma. Now let's open the graph editor right click and make sure the edit value graph is selected so we can see the values of the keyframes and here you will see these keyframes with all the different values and here we need to identify the low end of the threshold so let's come here and look at these values and these are like six point something five point something so let's go ahead and select uh, seven to be a low threshold so type in uh, after a comma type seven and add another comma and now we need to find the high end of the threshold. So here, this is 20, 24, 23. So you could choose any value pretty much. And let, let me just choose 20. So type 20, comma. And now we need to give uh, these values a meaning. So as our low threshold, we've chosen 7. So what we're trying to do here is anything that is 7 or less in these values will be considered as 0 and will get no reaction at all. And uh, so let's do zero. So it is zero, then comma. And 20 is the high end of the threshold. So if we add 20 here and then click away, well, let's bring back the slider. So what this means is uh, 20 at this point is the maximum the reaction would go. So even at points where the value is 24 or 23, it would still be considered a 20 and will not go higher than 20. And now if we preview or like go to the point, like the, the there are keyframes here. So if we come here, you can see logo is not reacting. And even at this point, if we bring the time indicator here, you can see the logo is not reacting. And only when it enters the threshold that we've uh, set, you can see we're getting the reaction. 
So if we come to this point where the value is 20, we can see the logo is like big. Now, if we go to the point where it says 24, you'll see the logo or uh, the value of the slider is still set to 20. And no matter like where you go past the 20, it will still be considered a 20. And at this point, I think I've covered every important aspect of the properties reacting to audio in After Effects. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.